How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Retson. Thanks for watching. If you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button for more awesome content. I'm in the studio today teaching you guys how to install the 455 balanced regulator on your 37SS. Let's check it out. We're going to start with our bent tube. We're going to loosen and slide down the nut securing it to the side block assembly. Next, we're going to go ahead and loosen the other side of the bent tube. We're going to use one wrench on the jam nut and one on the nut that's on the actual bent tube. Once that's done, we can go ahead and remove it and put it in a safe space. We're going to need this when we install our 455. Now that the bent tube is removed, we're going to go ahead and put a cloth on the end of the nose block knob secured by a wrench and loosen it with our hand from inside of the helmet. Go ahead and remove the knob. Next, we're gonna loosen and remove the packing nut. Now there's two O-rings underneath that. You're gonna to wanna to keep those in a safe space as well. Once that's done, you can go ahead and pull your nose block right out of the helmet. Next, go ahead and remove the microphone from the oral nasal mask and then slide out the oral nasal mask. All right, next, we're gonna unscrew the four screws securing the whisker anodes to the port retainer. Also, make sure to pop out these whisker spacers. With the helmet flipped over again, go ahead and remove the regulator mount nut and sealing O-ring. With the mount nut and sealing O-ring out of the way, go ahead and use some diagonal cutters and cut the tie wrap. Next, you should be able to just pull the regulator right out. All right, with your 455 regulator, make sure to insert the exhaust main body into the exhaust outlet on your water dump valve while aligning your mounting tube into the mounting hole. Now that that's installed, use the tie wrap and install around the main exhaust body and tighten. Now go ahead and install the sealing O-ring and regulator mount nut, but make sure to not tighten it fully at this time. Go ahead and lightly lubricate the O-ring on the bent tube assembly. Next, slide the O-ring side of the bent tube into the regulator. After that's done, go ahead and engage the nut onto the side block and tighten it until it's about hand tight. Go ahead and tighten the other bent tube nut onto the inlet nipple. Using a torque wrench, go ahead and tighten the bent tube mount nut onto the side block. Next, go ahead and tighten the jam nut. Next, using an open end wrench and a torque wrench, go ahead and tighten both nuts against each other. Go ahead and torque the regulator mount nut. All right, next, make sure to install your whisker spacers. We're gonna install our whiskers with the zinc anodes that we saved from our 350 regulator. With the whiskers correctly installed, we're gonna go ahead and install our oral nasal mask and the microphone. Prior to assembly, we're going to lightly lubricate the two O-rings that are inside the nose block packing nut. Install the nose block, then put the two O-rings onto the shaft, followed by the packing nut. Next, tighten the knob with pliers padded by a cloth while holding the nose block. And just like that, you have a 455 balanced regulator on your 37SS. Hey, while you're here, check out our website, apparel.kmdsi.com. We've got awesome cups, clothes, and other cool merchandise. <laughs> 